Welcome back to another episode of Saturday with Sam where today we're going to talk about what to do when something unexpected happens and how to deal with it. Um, like, you know, rain. <laughs> so grab a cup of coffee and hang on for the ride. So uh, I'm at work today and just got some unexpected news about colleagues and it's very sad and, and very chaotic and very confusing and I'm sure for the people that were involved it was very uh, painful. Um, or maybe in some cases a bit of a relief and yeah, what strikes me is how much emotion we go through as human beings um, when we get unexpected news. Um, you know the Bible talks about how the faithfulness of God and, and the everlasting steadfastness of God and, and we, we tend to forget that when we go through a really trying emotional moment. Um, when we hear of the loss of a family member or we get news medically that is a, a real challenge or um, we get told that we are let go from the position that we've had. We, we have this moment where we can um, get frustrated, allow our emotions to get the better of us, and to uh, walk away from the everything that we've held dear up to that point for a brief moment and, and be sinful and be angry and be bitter and be resentful, or we can choose to reinforce our beliefs that God is faithful. Um, you know, it's tough when um, you, the position that you are in gets let go. I had a similar experience. I was working for a very large tech company and I had only been there about six months. I had just been told a month or so before um, that I was being transferred to a little bit better team, a little bit more focused, a little bit um, better fit for me. And I had just been told uh, that I was doing a good job by my boss, was given a raise and uh, a bonus um, for the six months or so, or, uh, the first quarter of work that I had been there. And, I'm going through everything and I get called in a couple days after my birthday um, last year and told that my position is no longer available to me and that the team um, is going to be able to hire somebody that they really want now instead of me. And I was stunned and in that moment I wanted to curse out the HR person who was just doing her job, um, the boss who legitimately I had a beef with because he didn't give me direction, he didn't give me vision, he didn't do any of the good things that a good boss should do. Um, he was just not very good. And, you know, I, I, I had a, a, a choice in that moment. Um, so while I was on the taxi ride back to my car, um, I called my wife, or texted my wife actually, I didn't even call her, and told her the news, um, and that I would call her um, and talk to her when I, or talk to her when I got home. And I uh, started making calls to colleagues, and I started um, emailing colleagues to figure out what I could do. And in the end, just a couple weeks later, I was interviewing. Even not even a week later, I was interviewing for a position. Um, at a company and a couple months later our team gets reorged into a different division entirely and saves us from some pretty um, heart-wrenching stuff but God is faithful in all of that whether you get to go home and be with Jesus from this financial or not financial health illness or whether um, you are spared from it God is faithful and that's the message that I want to leave you with if you've uh, liked these videos so far please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another Saturday with Sam